see if I can uh, show you hand feeding my crayfish. And a piece of carrot up here, my fingers. Crayfish love carrots. He sits here up on the top because he also likes the duckweed that grows underneath the lid of the aquarium. Very happy with that piece of carrot. He's already mowing down on it. There's a crayfish down here. Hopefully he'll catch wind of some of these carrot bits. They like carrots, they like romaine lettuce, they like celery. I got shrimp pellets that I feed them. In this tank here, there is lots and lots of little babies. You can see the little antenna, that's about it, of that crayfish. This guy's gonna fall down, he's playing with his carrot piece a little bit much. The little tiny crayfish are already going crazy over these carrot bits. Maybe we'll come back to them in a little bit. You can see the claws of a crayfish down there. That one has uh, got a load of other babies uh, hidden under its tail. They like to keep on holding on to the babies until they're ready to swim around. You can see tons of little ones sitting on that light colored log. Uh, air powered filter. I like the air powered filters because you can run a whole lot of them off of uh, one pump. This aquarium was given to me by uh, a great family friend. Uh, it's 120 liters. I took out a whole bunch of crayfish out of this aquarium. I like it when they uh, move around. You get to see all the little ones darting away, running for their life. See, he's just going crazy over that uh, little carrot slice. Just take a potato peeler to a carrot, cut off these wedges and they absolutely love vegetables. I don't have to tell the kids to eat their vegetables in this case. No matter where you look on the bottom of this aquarium there is baby crayfish absolutely everywhere. Still up there mowing down on that piece. They'll uh, come and clean all that up. Let's see if I can uh, throw some in for the lower crayfish. This guy should catch on pretty quick when that comes down on him. Oh yeah. Got my carrot. I feed them shrimp pellets, which sink. 
uh, fish food, they get a little bit leftovers from what the guppies don't eat. The guppies were intentionally put in there uh, as something for the crayfish to nibble on. Uh, for the most part, the guppies actually get away, they swim away, they don't even get near to the crayfish. But uh, I can't say that they don't touch them, because one of them disappeared the other day. No floating body of any sort or anything, I they imagine they ate it. See these crayfish sit up here in the milfoil. Yep, that's the milfoil, the infamous Eurasian milfoil that's taking over lakes all over the lower mainland. I like to take it out and feed it to them, they uh, enjoy it. I do have one more aquarium just outside the door. Um, I have an aquarium outside the door, also air powered, so this gives me a, a chance to see how they do outside. Anyways, there's your chance to see some crayfish, some little tiny crayfish. Crayfish eating their habitat. I've got this great big stump. They like that. They chew on the wood a little bit. They climb up onto the top. Anyways, that's how to feed a crayfish.